Okay, uh, thanks again for joining my channel. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. If you're a, a subscriber to it, if you're just stumbled across it, please make sure you subscribe. Um, I value anyone's information, stuff like that to give me anyone's help. Anyone that subscribes, I really value your your time that you're taking to uh, check out my channel. So uh, thanks for doing that, and um, we'll just get straight into it. Actually, on this video. What I'm going to talk about is motherboards and what I take off them. So, um, not just motherboards, circuit boards in general, printed circuit boards. A lot of people say to me, oh, I haven't got, um, I don't know what to take off the boards, Where what's worth taking off. Basically, I take nearly everything off a board that I can get into to get for the gold recovery of the board. In Ireland, I don't have a... Um, I don't have uh, a board sort in general. In Ireland, we don't have somewhere where we can send these to and sell them by the pound or whatever. So what I have to do is I have to strip as much off it as I can so that I have nothing left over on the board, just maybe a bare, bare board and send the rest to recycling. Um, so that's why I do a lot of videos on showing people what I take off boards, how I process them down to get to the gold material, um, stuff like that, rather than just, what, what am I gonna do with that? No one's gonna buy that board off me in Ireland. It's going to be too costly to send abroad. Um, I could sell it as scrap, and all I'm going to get is steel prices or something like that off my scrapyard because he's not into the circuit boards or into any of that stuff. So he's only buying steel, so he's not going to give me anything really for it. So um, that's where my problem lies in. So that's why I strip it out as best I can and collect everything up and process them. That's why I'm running these little series. If you look back, I'll have a few little links put up through the video of different series where I'm doing different stuff. So maybe when I start talking about certain items on the board, I'll put I'll have a look there and there might be a little video link to where I've processed them further on. So in general, it's just, it's just talking about the motherboards, printed circuit boards in general, what I take off them. So we'll start off with a few little motherboards here. I'm just gonna run through some of the stuff that I will take off the motherboard. So again, IC chips. I will remove all the IC chips that I see on the motherboard. Um, and again, if you look above there now, it's probably linked to where I've removed these IC chips and I'm doing a series on them. So it'll be later on where I process them and so on and so on. So if you wanna keep up to date on it, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you're getting the latest videos on them. So IC chips all over there, I can see on that board. Uh, again, on this side, a few IC chips here. Um, so we're just, we're just talking about the IC chips at the moment while I remove the IC chips. So again, IC chips, IC chips, uh, different types of IC chips, but I kind of process them all together on this um, thing. So there's not much more on that board. Um, even on this board, it's pretty, pretty slim. I've already started removing stuff off this board. Uh, but again, a few IC chips here on the back. Uh, I see chips, I see chips, I see chips, I see chips, I see chips. So many there. So people go up maybe as well say, oh, like I don't have access to many computer boards. I don't get much computers as in laptops or PCs. But you'll also find boards in most electronic devices. So we say, for instance, this was a little uh, switch, an Ethernet switch. So I've just taken the cover off that there and straight away I can see an IC chip there on it. Um, now the other side of it um, will probably be more IC chips so I'll just get a screwdriver and we'll remove these little um, little screws from it and we'll just have up the far side we'll just have a look the far side of it in and see if there's any IC chips on the other side of it as well but it's just, you know, you'll find IC chips on most electronic devices. Um, and to be honest, there's no one on the far side of this one, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, so that just blows my theory out of the water there. But um, as you can see here, there's screws. So I'll just remove these screws and we might as well look at it. And we've come this far. Nothing on the actual other side of that board. But you will find modems, hard drives, telephones, um, uh, what else will you find? Where you find the IC chips? You find them in your mobile phones, 
you'll find them in control boards even on washing machines I've come across IC chips just like that on boards so anything really that has electronic board will a lot of the time have an IC chip so that's the first thing I look to take off is IC chips on them so we'll remove that now while we're looking at this one which is a fairly basic one what else I will take to take off there I will take off the um, crystal oscillator um, so I'll take him off because again he, he has contained silver he'd contain possibly gold sometimes so stuff like that I'll remove him also I will remove these little MLCC's so again they're little small MLCC's a quick flick of the chisel will remove them um, and you have them there so that's one thing um, if I have done, if I've already removed MLCC's from uh, if I've done a video on the MLCC's I'll put a link to it there somewhere in the inside of there so again on this board again we have a lot of MLCC's larger MLCC's so we can see them here again they're going to contain uh, precious metals so again I remove all them collect them up I haven't really got a way of processing them too handy yet uh, but I will be doing it hopefully in the future um, so we have your MLCCCs. This one has a lot of them on the board. There's some nice chunky ones. Um, on this side again, we have a very chunky one here um, that you can just see underneath this black cover. If I just remove that little bit of tape, you can see here a large MLCC. We'll focus in on it if we can. Try and get you in there to it. Okay. Ooh. Focus. Out of touch. There we go. So we have our MLCC here. Again, uh, let me find some of the larger ones here as well. So again, MLCCs along here. You can see them along here. So again, there's something I will remove from the boards as well. Even the likes of this board. We'll just zoom back out. Even though this is a fairly basic uh, laptop board, a little Dell laptop I think this came out of. Uh, we'll usually have some MLCCs so we can see them here. So again, we have a line of MLCC. So that's another thing I will always remove from the board. Um, then the other items I remove from the board are these. These are where your RAM connected in your slot cards, anything like that. Because again, they will contain little gold pins. So you can see them here. There's our little gold pins. So again, I have done videos on that. So uh, just have a look there for the links. I put them up somewhere inside the description. So again, we have our little gold pins there. Um, again inside of here we have gold pins inside of here inside of here I can see gold pins um, on the back do we have anything containing gold pins no um, actually there might be one item there that I miss on that no it's on this one so on here again we have gold little gold connectors zoom out a bit more uh, little gold connectors here uh, again we'll have the gold pins in these where the RAM was connected uh, again Sometimes these will contain gold, sometimes they don't, but again, I'll remove them. It's just a matter when I'm at it to remove them. So that's again, has your gold in them. Um, again, this one here will have gold pins. So we've gold pins along here. Um, we'll have gold connectors here on it. Uh, what else do we have? Again, gold connectors inside of here. It's a bit hard to see, but I'll break that plastic. So again, you can see the gold um, connectors along here on it. So that's another um, thing that I'll remove from the actual board and even on this basic board which in here these will these pins here are usually inside of here where the ethernet connector there again will be gold flashed or gold plated so again I'll remove them so have a look at the videos on that um, and then the other big items that I remove from the um, boards will be the BGAs so again Gold cap BGAs, I have videos up there on that, so have again, have a quick look there at, afterwards. After you watch this video, have go back through it and just click on the links to where I've linked these in the video. So where, where I deal with these and what, what precious metals are in them. And also I remove these little ceramic chips. So sometimes you'll find these on boards, uh, some of the older PCs will have these little ceramic chips. So I remove them and I process them the same as I would my normal ceramic um, CPUs that I will remove from the board. So again, most computers will have, see this is the CPU really on this board, because it's an older one, it wasn't the most powerful one, but it has this as your main CPU on the board. So I'll remove that um, from it. 
most computers will have your CPUs which will be in there so again I have a little video there of all my CPUs and what I'm working on so again I'll put a little link to the CPU so there I'll remove them from the board so once you remove um, most of the stuff from the board you're left with very little um, that you don't that I wouldn't remove from the board um, again sometimes I'll remove these again because they will be gold flash pins inside of here and these but they're very hard to get to so a lot of the time now I'm not bothering with this I will remove these but I don't bother with these because for the amount of gold that's in them they're not worth it and again if you look at some of the boards here we'll have a little spring like connectors which will be gold flashed or gold plated well very not really plated they're very what they call engineered plated um, on them which is essentially a very 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 thin layer of gold but it's just a matter of collecting them up and processing them with your pins when you're doing your pins so uh, that's what I kind of do on that um, so that's really mainly it on the boards because I've been asked about what I take off the boards what I keep what's worth keeping what's worth getting rid of so again if you see anything there that I've missed that I should be taking off the board that you take off your board that is worth money uh, or worth collecting up and say all these little ICs I'll remove any of these ICs are gone um, I don't remove these because I don't know what's in them I don't know if there are precious metals in them so let me know if you remove these items from the board um, they have a little serial number like R56D026S and the other ones say R36Ws so if anyone knows anything about these little items um, if they're worth taking off uh, let me know because it may be something I'm throwing away that I don't remove from the board I'll remove this little thing here as well because it contains copper so um, I usually remove that for the little bit of copper in it again you can see another one of these little connectors with the gold on them so it's just your metal coated and a little bit of gold um, on them so this one has a few of them uh, thrown on that board so I'll remove them as well so they're very easily removed it's just like that shake it about it'll just fall off um, so again I, I collect them up um, off the boards so that's again another one of my probably shorter videos it'll be probably under 15 minutes oh nearly forgot tantalums I also take tantalums even though I don't have any way of processing them but the price of tantalums is fairly good per pound so I'm collecting them up and hopefully in the future um, I might have someone who buys them or I might figure out a way of doing a home process on them or I might find a refiner that can process them that I can post them to um, or deliver them to so I remove the tantalums so again most of these are tantalums the ones with the little pluses on them would be tantalums again I do also remove these some people say they're not tantalums they don't contain tantalums I just remove them I keep them separate just in case because again I don't know everything about uh, recycling I don't have computer stuff or processing them so I just click them up just in case I'm throwing away something that may be good they look like tantalums um, but they don't have the plus symbol and I've been told that the ones with the plus symbol are the tantalums and the ones without aren't and you also have your yellow tantalums if I can find any on any board let me have a look and see if any of the boards there's some more gold pins uh, when I was on about collecting the gold pins uh, just pause the video for one second there I'm sorry about that I just had to go and get a board that uh, contains some of the um, little yellow tantalums so as we can see here, these are little yellow tantalums because um, I had no board on the table there that had any of them. So I just went, ran and got a board quickly. So you can see there the little tantalums that I remove again. So again, I store them up into jars or into buckets or whatever over time as I build them up. Um, these little chips here, the reason I got this board is these little chips are on them. A lot of people will think that they're high grade or something, but I find they're very the lowest grade of chips and you need a lot of buckets and buckets and buckets of them to make it worth while processing them so at the moment I don't process them um, I don't remove them from the board I leave them on uh, again if you found that you're getting a better yield from them let me know uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong in the way I process them um, let me know and if it's something that I should be keeping so just have a quick look at them chips so you can see the little bit of gold here and here um, little gold stripes on it and this one here you can see tiny dots of gold along here but as in the processor inside them doesn't seem to have gold bonding wires in them I may be doing them wrong 
As I say, I don't know everything about it and I don't, I'm not claiming I do. This is what I do keep. I'm just letting people know what I keep. It's up to you what you do. Um, so again, a nice seed chip here on the back of that board that I will be taking off. And we've got some uh, MLCCs I've seen when I was flicking through. And a few more here on this side. There were some MLCCs along somewhere. If I can locate them again, which can't at the moment but there, there is there I show you there's some here we go up here in the corner we've got some MLCCs along here um, so again that's what I'll take off that board um, and I'll take these off here again which will have the gold uh, wires or the gold pins in them and along here you can see little gold pins along there as well so I'll remove them uh, that little connector from it so it's mainly anywhere I can see gold remove if you see gold remove it um, so again here remove them remove them then what you can't see that contains gold will be your ic chips will contain gold usually in the bonding wires your little gold bonding wires inside them leds little led lights on it so if there was a strip of leds here on them um they will contain gold um so again let me see if i have it here nearby where i've done videos before uh where i removed an led um strip light or an LED light to what I've done I don't know have I that video up yet or not it's a video I've been working on and maybe up at this stage um, I'm trying to think have I loaded up or not but it doesn't matter so again um, we have these sort of LED strip lights so they, they will contain gold bonding wires usually in them so collect them up um, if it's something I collect up as well um, you have your BGA is your main chip you'll be looking to collect. If, they've, if you have them in there, collect them, they're, they're the best uh, for gold yield return compared to the normal IC chips. Your MLCCs for your other precious metals, your silvers, your platinums, platinum, I think it is as well. Um, I do always get them mixed up, platinum, palladium. Now there's one more little chip that I meant to tell you about here on it. I've seen it on one of the boards. I said, I must mention it, here we go. This here, is a ceramic crystal oscillator so when you remove that from the board you will see a little gold ring around it here so you can see that that has a little gold ring completely around the outside of it that will usually contain inside again has a ceramic bottom on it so you should find some gold silver pla um, platinum maybe in that as well so again collect them up um, your ic chips everything else so that's it for the video so which I thought was going to be about 15 minute video is going to end up being a 20 minute video around. So thanks guys for checking out the channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you take off the boards. Um, what you uh, don't take off. Uh, what I'm not taking off that you take off. That sort of way. Let, that's how we share the information. Hopefully um, soon enough. I hope to do maybe a live. Um, a live where we can... Talk, get a panel go maybe and talk a bit about scrap prices what we take off boards might have a few boards there at the time we run through it uh, talk to a few other scrappers so hopefully um, if you're subscribing to me I have a community tab there and I put information up on that when I'm getting closer to doing that live video so that um, we can do a little chat we're talking in general about not just electronic boards stuff like that not just that we're talking in general about scrap um, scrap values what's what that you may have found that may have been really worth taking off uh, that people are throwing away a lot of because cycles of throwing stuff away for a while a lot of people were getting rid of the big back tube tellies which had a lot of copper in them and uh, now it's the flat screen tellies which don't entail as much copper but you may find some little bit of gold aluminium is more popular in that um, so the stuff that goes in cycles um, stuff we should avoid scrapping um for reasons that may be too dangerous or uh the value isn't in them uh stuff like that so that's what my live panel will be about when i do it so hopefully i'm trying to organize that maybe with a few more scrappers um i haven't really talked to anyone about it yet but because i haven't set up my little studio for doing it for doing lives because at the moment i just record everything um i don't really do any live so keep on scrapping guys and we'll get keep an eye on the community tab and i'll let you know when that's coming up